Good evening and thanks for having us in. Public schools across the state may have to cancel, reschedule or downsize dozens of events like dances, proms and pep rallies because of the Friday teacher furloughs. Yeah, that's because many school events rely on teachers as chaperones, but teachers will be staying home without pay 17 Fridays during the year. KITV's Kaoki Kerr joins us live with tonight's top story. Kaoki? Well, Gary and Pam, organizers of Farrington High School's Fall Dance don't know if the popular event can be held at all because it's set for the first furlough day in October, or it may be much smaller in scale because students can't get access to the campus to set up decorations and big screen TVs until 3 p.m. that day. These Farrington High School seniors are getting banners ready for next Friday's fall pep rally held during the school day. But the winter and spring pep rallies may be moved after school or at night so teachers can have more classroom time since they're losing 17 school days. It'll cut out a lot of the fun part of senior year and everything will just be so rushed and cramped that like, we won't even be able to experience it. I expect my senior year to like, be the best. Like, I want to make the most out of it since it's my last high school year and like they're taking out more days and how can I make it like memorable. The Farrington gym where PE classes played volleyball at mid-afternoon is supposed to house the fall school dance October 23rd, the first furlough day. But the dance might have to be canceled or downsized this year. If there's not a good balance with work and play, people aren't going to enjoy coming to school. So that's why it like it would be a really bad thing if the dance couldn't happen because of the furlough day. Dance organizers may be unable to find the 20 teachers who usually volunteer to be chaperones. It would be harder to get them here, especially if like, they're not being paid for that day because they might not be as willing to come. These girls are on the senior class council, which plans graduation, senior luau, and other activities. But since it meets with teachers after school on Fridays, they'll have to find another meeting day. We have busy schedules. We have to work on co colleges, scholarship applications. We have jobs. We have to babysit our siblings. So how can we meet with on, on other days when we're already busy as it is? Now, Farrington High School's student activity coordinator says the school's May Day program in the spring, which had been set for a Friday during school, will have to move to Friday night because it also falls on a furlough day. She says that's not good because so many families have other commitments on Friday evenings. Kiyoki Kur, KITV4 Island Television News.